Come back, I got really cool milk off for you guys on this Saturday, so don't miss it. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick, Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday? That's right, you get a Saturday video out of Mid-10 Outdoors. But this is a really cool mail call that I got. You may remember a couple of videos back, I made mention of a video that the Story Till Now on YouTube put out regarding a fire tower that went up in flames because of wildfires. Um, so Sean's call to action in that video was, you know, wherever you are, join up and help us. So when we can build the fire tower back, we can build it back. And I thought about it for a little bit and I was like, man, there's, there's a couple places around here that, you know, something like that was to happen, tornado, whatever. Um, you know, it probably hit me pretty good too. Um, Again, that was his first place to ever shoot a video. First place to camp by himself, solo. So there's a couple of those places around Middle Tennessee area. Uh, I would say Fall Creek Falls. Well, no, not Fall Creek Falls. I've never camped there solo. Well, no, I've never camped there solo. Huh, I just realized that. Uh, there's several other camps close that I have done solo. That if something was to happen to them, you know, it'd probably affect me the same way. My, my old Boy Scout camp, Camp Boxwell, just up the road um, that my son even camped in. If something was to ever happen to it, I know it would hit me pretty good because there was a lot of years spent there. And there's a lot of memories there. I've got photographs over there from back then, 30, 35 millimeters. So I get where he was coming from on this. So I thought, why not? You know, I may never get there. But I think it'd be kind of cool. So I did. I uh, sent in my money to become a member of the Four Wheel Drive Association of BC. There's their sticker. And I got, they sent me a dash plaque to go. What I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to play a sticky place where you can stick it on the dash. And I used to get these all the time when I showed cars. There's some back up here behind me. I don't know if you can see them. I'm pointing at one right now. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's a handful up there, some trophies from back when I used to show cars. But I, I used to get these little dash plaques. That always meant more to me than the sometimes than the trophy I got. Um, but they had a really cool calendar. This right here, uh, this calendar was awesome there's some really cool scenes in it um let me thumb through like this i would god i would kill to see that in person see some of these sites um just the views this is not i don't think this is let's see no this is another one but that's that's a fire tower there in british columbia um I'm sure their next count. I mean, look at that. That is so cool camping in the snow and stuff. Of course, I know, you know, I do some cold weather camping, but it's nothing compared to what they do. But just the sights and everything, me and Bill have talked about it. We wished we could get up there and camp with those guys. It just, I just think it'd be really cool to camp there. Um, what else did they send? They, um, this is really cool. It's, uh, Four Wheelers code of con uh, code of ethics tells you what you should and shouldn't do, and I mean it's all of its common sense. Their mission statement, vision, objectives, um, but basically it's promoting recreation activities that involve the off-pavement use of four-wheel drive vehicles, thus encouraging shared land use and access to backcountry. Um, they are lucky because they have a lot of backcountry stuff. We just don't have that here. We don't have that. And regretfully, I mean, we have state lands we can go to, but they're so tiny. And land between the lakes, um, go to Daniel Boone, and you know, we've been all over Daniel Boone. We went the did the backcountry byway. I'll leave that video up there if you want to go, well, leave that playlist up there if you want to go watch that. 
But we did the, you know, backcountry byway. That was super cool. And there's places to camp along the way on that too. Um, but this, this, the areas they go and camp in are just mind blowing. Um, they also sent this little checklist, you know, for what you need in your vehicle or need for camping, which is really good. And a lot of it's common sense stuff, but a lot of it's stuff. There's some things that you probably don't think about, um, but it's in there. And then there's their brochure on their um, club. So I am a member of the um, Four Wheel Drive Association of BC. And I told them, I said, hey guys, I don't have a four wheel drive, actually mine's two wheel drive, but I get where this is going and I understand. And I may be looking for something around here to um, do pretty soon with money wise to, you know, help a local organization, outdoor organization. Um, I still give to the scouts. I still give to the Boy Scouts of America. That I mean, I'm an Eagle Scout, class of 87. So scouting meant a lot to me back then. And I know for some people it's an outlet. Um, and there's some things you get from it. Get, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole different video. But I will stay a member for a while. I'd like to see the fire tower rebuilt pretty soon. Uh, they say it could be a couple of years before they could even get up there and rebuild it. They did a, they did a trip up to it. I'll put that up there in a the card too. Uh, so you can go check it out. They did a trip up there after the fire and pretty, pretty devastating. They found a few pieces here and there, but anyways, so may never get there myself, but I would sure like to one day, but I am a member and I'm proud to say I'm a member of Four Wheel Drive Association of BC. All right, guys, that's it. I'm headed out camping when this video actually comes out. I'll be camping this weekend. Um, place I've been before and I really liked it. Dispersed, kind of dispersed camping. And it's actually a primitive campsite, but I like that too. So look forward to that on Tuesday. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. You probably thought the video was actually over. This is the second time I've shot this video. The first time I shot it, the camera was in manual mode. I went in to edit it, and I was blurry. I said, oh, my God. You would think I'm just now starting out on YouTube. Well, subscribe. <laughs> Keep watching. I appreciate it.